Hi, my name is Patrick Jamison, and in this video, I'm going to make the necessary adjustments to the door. I'm also going to complete the finishing touches to the panels and to the mainframe. In order to adjust the dual mortise lock, you can use this flathead screw to adjust this lock, or this flathead screw down here to adjust this lock. This is going to help eliminate the play in the panel, as well as extending the locks to catch the keeper. If your panels are scraping or they're very difficult to operate, adjust the rollers by using your number three screwdriver. Turning it clockwise will raise the panel up. Turning it counterclockwise will lower the panel. Quick note, remember to take the weight off the panel before adjusting the rollers. After final inspection, it is now time to put in all of your covers and plugs. Before we can begin, we need to remove the panels. Sometimes you have to drop the rollers in order to remove the panels. Okay, so we're back to bare bones. The first thing we need to do is find the plugs, and the plugs are going to go into those holes of the track. We will then insert this mid-rise sill cover on top of that same channel above the plugs. After the plugs, now we're going to insert our mid-sill rise cover. If it doesn't snap down, using a block and a mallet will help you snap it down. These are the fastener covers that you're going to receive. You're going to insert these into your jams and into your header. You're going to have to cut it out for the keeper. Here's our fastener cover. This is the first one that we're going to insert into our jam of the mainframe. Here's the other fastener cover. It's going to get inserted into this side of the jam. And remember, you're going to have to cut this fastener cover because of this keeper here. And then our other fastener cover. We've now finished this side of the jam. We're going to mimic the same process on the other side of the jam. Very similar to the jam with the keeper, we're going to be doing the same thing in the header, and we're still going to have to cut out because of these header blocks here. So let's snap that in there and work our way across. After all the fastener covers are inserted, you can now grab your sliding glass door panels, reinsert them into the track, adjust the rollers, and you're done. And remember to use the plugs to cover up the adjustment holes. Inside of your bag, you're going to have high piled dust plugs. These high piled dust plugs have an adhesive backing to them that are going to be inserted into the top part of your sliding glass door header. Here is your panel bumper. The panel bumper is going to get inserted into the head of your mainframe. After the bumper is installed, make sure you use the two screws to hold it in place. Inside the bag are your open cell foam pads. These open cell foam pads must be inserted into the track of your sliding glass door. So to recap, in this video, I made the necessary adjustments to the door. I've also completed all the finishing touches. 